Hi. <laughs> Whoops. Today, uh, today we're, we're going to talk about my husband's DNA results. Last week I posted a video with mine. His came in a week later, so he had a very long week of waiting. It was kind of unfair that I got my results a week earlier when we sent them in at the exact same time. But, you know, patience is a virtue. Here anyway, we are. So, um, so we'll just get right to it. You always thought you were... Scandinavian, and you know, obviously my mother doesn't have that on her side, but uh, that was the stories we were always talked about when I was younger, was the Scandinavian heritage, and then uh, there was always the uh, Native American story, that was from my mom's side, that could have been there, and so uh, I was thinking that may or may not pop up, although I've watched enough of the videos to know that uh, a lot of people think that, and it ends up not, 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 not coming true, so... Anyway, so 99% so European, no, no surprise. surprise, no surprise, but what was a little bit of a surprise was that the biggest portion of that, 35% Great. Great Britain, where did that come from? That's the mystery, right. we're, we're working on the family tree to figure it out, it's his mom's side, but we're, we're working on that, 30% Scandinavian, right. so that was what you were expecting. expecting. 12% Irish, 10% Europe West. We were actually expecting that to be bigger just with the tree we've built so far. 5% um, Iberian Peninsula, 4% Europe West, 3% Finland, Northwest Russia, and, and then 1% North Africa. So, no Native American. No Native American. I got Native American. Right. I won that one. Right. Can you can you be competitive with your DNA? <laughs> I'm like, Other people are. I, <laughs> I'm like, you know, every American wants to be Native American. I win. You lose. <laughs> anyway, but um, yeah. So. Yeah. There you go. Combine the two, Britain and Ireland. I know you. Got a lot. Of, I got a lot of DNA from that island. Yeah, you know, you just you went to you woke up in Sweden, you went to bed in Britain, but you know, other than that. I was a surprise. It all makes sense. But we live in a Scandinavian Scandinavian town. So, you know, you kind of want to own your Scandinavian heritage. Right. So I could still own it. 30%. It's okay. But, yeah. you know, but he sold Massey Ferguson tractors. England. And those are made in England. So I think that, you know, I think, you know, it's all good. Yeah. I'm good with it. <laughs> right. I'm over it. 